What do you think as a creator of PHP uh, about mock trading in uh, the language? So there are two reasons why people want multi-threading. One of them is that they want to make full use of all the cores on the machine, which is not an issue with PHP because the way PHP is run, it's run from a web server, like PHP FPM processes are sitting there and each process manages a request. You're always gonna have more than one concurrent request. So all your cores will be taken up by these web requests running concurrently. So there's no issue of not making use of all the cores on the machine like a desktop app might have. And also, PHP runs on the, your front-end web server for the most part. And when you get a request in, it, if it needs to do some work in the background, that really needs to happen on a different set of servers. So you should use some kind of message queue job worker setup, and you should asynchronously kick off these jobs and then you can come back later, you can check on the job, is it done yet? If it's done, then you can present the results. And generally that will be on a separate HTTP request. So what, it wouldn't be on yes, the same what one. What you suggest is to use backend, backend servers yeah. more efficiently than doing everything. everything on the front end server. Yeah, just, just like you don't run your database on your front end web servers, or at least you shouldn't. I know some people do, but you should have a separate database server. Um, just because even the, the hardware itself is usually different for a database. You need a lot more memory on a database server than you need on your front-end web server instances. So you can tune your hardware for the specific jobs that it's taking. Your front-end web servers tend to not need much memory, and they tend to need lots of CPU and strong networking. Um, and you want to keep the latency down. You don't want to tie up your front-end web servers um, doing back-end type things because then they're not ready for the next request. So if you really want to scale, you need to put the right things on the right cluster of servers. Um, I worked at Yahoo for many years and one of the applications I worked a bit on was Yahoo Mail. And Mail looks like one big web application, but actually it's very modular. And the piece to look up your contacts in your address book, for example, is completely separate from sending an email, which is completely separate from reading an email. And people read way more emails than they send. So we had a whole cluster of servers that read emails, right, from a back-end email database. And we had a smaller cluster of servers for sending emails. And we had an even smaller cluster for looking up your contacts, because you don't look up your address book that often, right? So each piece of the application was modularized and put out on these different clusters of servers. And on the surface, you might think, well, if we had threading in PHP, we can just run everything on the front end server. It just wouldn't scale. It really wouldn't scale. And the way PHP was designed from the very beginning, from day one, was to be stateless. To have a very clean sandbox, not keep any state, so that every request was discrete, so you could scale it horizontally as much as you want. You never really talk about PHP not scaling, the same way you talk about Java and ASP.NET and things, because PHP has never had a scaling problem because of its architecture. It's just against the idea of front, front and so on. Well, it, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's about the architecture of how you build web applications. And for web applications, the scripting language does not need to be threaded. And it would, be, it would actually be detrimental if it was threaded because it would then encourage people to run all this code in the background on their front end web servers which would not scale and it would break everything. That was clear, I think. Thanks okay. for the explanation. Yeah, you're welcome.